So early reports from China described a high incidence of cardiac injury in patients with COVID-19. And this was important because the cardiac injury appeared to contribute strongly to morbidity and mortality. We were very interested in what COVID was doing to our patients and wanted to study them with echocardiography. Hello, I'm Patricia Pelica, a cardiologist and clinical researcher at Mayo Clinic. I'd like to tell you about our paper, Cardiac Abnormalities in COVID-19 and Relationship to Outcome, published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Co-authors of our work were Drs. Hema Krishna, Alexander Ryu, Christopher Scott, our statistician, Dr. Deepa Mandel, and Dr. Tasneem Nakvi. So we, in this work, reported our experience with the first 179 patients with COVID-19 who, during their hospitalization, required clinically indicated echocardiography. The patients were very sick. The majority were in the intensive care unit. They had many comorbidities. Indications for the echo were shock and hemodynamic instability, hypoxemia. And in our paper, we characterized the echocardiographic findings of the patients. We noted that uh, some of the patients, about 20%, had had prior echocardiograms. And therefore, we were able to compare and see what actually had changed during their COVID hospitalization. Pre-existing cardiac abnormalities were quite common in the COVID patients who required echocardiography. So I think one must use caution in attributing findings just to COVID because some of them may be pre-existing. We characterized the patterns of left ventricular involvement and found patients with um, myocarditis or global left ventricular dysfunction, some with non-ST elevation, myocardial infarction, and others with uh, Takatsubo or stress cardiomyopathy. We then characterized the relationship of the clinical and echo features to short-term events. We define short-term events as those that occurred during the first 30 days or that hospitalization. And we define these events as prolonged hospitalization more than 21 days or mortality. We did find both clinical biomarker and echocardiographic features that were related, related to these events. So I would direct you to our paper to find out about the echocardiographic features and also about those characteristics that we found that were related to poor outcomes during the short-term interval in patients with COVID-19. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy our paper. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.